Hi, this is Richard Price from my one CRM and this is a short video showing you how you can uh, generate a templated document out of Zoho CRM and push that through to Zoho Sign and send out to a person for a signature. So what I've done is I've come to and opened a contact in our Zoho CRM so the first thing and most important thing is is that there's an email address there because that's how you're going to be sending it and then you've got the contact name so what um, you can do is simply um, go in and um, to the more actions button on the top right go mail merge and select the template so I'm not going to go into how to create a mail merge template in Zoho there are other videos on that um, uh, suffice to say that I've already created this one. Okay, so what you can see here is that it's actually going to pull some information from that contact record. Okay, so all I need to do is I'm going to go preview and you can see that it's now sucked that information and populated it in here. So this is confidentiality agreement, the signature and date. That's what I want from um, uh, this person. So what you can do is from the top here you can see send for electronic signature and you will select sign by Zoho sign and then what it'll do is it'll upload that as a PDF into Zoho sign. Okay, proceed. Okay, so it takes us through to um, Zoho sign. So what you can see here is on the left, that document is now in here as a PDF. Now I can change that. I can go and change that. I can even put in there Richard Price. So you can change the file name. Okay. Then you can add in um, the, um, uh, uh, the person's name or at least um, uh, and modify it slightly. So I'm going to actually put the name in there. Okay, and needs to sign. Now we can add in a few more if we need to, um, but in this case there's only one person that I need a signature from. Then I can put a note, that's what appears in the email that will be sent to them. So hi, please sign the following document and then go continue. What it's going to do is then open up that document because we've got to have some way of telling the system where to put what. So I'm going to just drag a signature into here and I'm going to select um, the um, one called sign date. What that is, is it automatically knows what date uh, the day is when this person is signing and it just pre-populates it. You can put in a date, in which case they'll have to type it in um, and do all that. There's a number of other things that you can um, add into this um, section um, in here using these um, uh, drag and drop fields but I'm just going to go I'm happy with that I'm going to go send it's going to go and send to Richard Price there's two fields for them to fill out okay so now it's telling me that it's um, uh, about to be sent so if I then go into uh, the recipient's email account so that's what this is so this is just Gmail, so the person will get this and all they need to do is they just click on the start sign, it'll say do you want to proceed, okay, and it's going to ask um, for confirmation um, of the disclosure um, uh, um, uh, agreement that you are signing and then go agree and continue. Now what it does is it shows you and highlights on the document quite clearly what things that you need to, um, uh, to do. So all you need to do is click. Now what I've already done in the system here is um, uh, it clicked and uploaded my um, uh, signature. Now um, what um, you can do is if it's the first time that this recipient has used Zoho Sign, they don't have to sign up, they don't have to do anything, but uh, they will be asked, um, uh, and they'll be given some other options, things like you can just type and it'll have different, you know, like a handwritten font and that kind of stuff, or you can upload um, a, a image of your signature 
or you can just scribble on the screen using your mouse or if it's a touch um, screen, your finger or stylus. Um, but that's not necessary. The secret behind digital signatures is the fact that it no longer relies on what you visually see. What happens when you finish this process is that it creates a digital um, um, private key that is attached, a public key that is attached to this document that is proof that it was signed, that it hasn't been uh, messed around with um, subsequent to its creation, um, its signature, etc. So, like, I can even increase the size of this. I can click on to the date, and as I said, it's actually automatically populated that. And then I can go finish. Okay, I can download it. Um, uh, the recipient can now download it from here. But what they'll also um, the, um, have is if they're the only ones uh, signing, then they will actually receive another email um, uh, very shortly um, with the um, a link to the um, actual document itself. So if I go back into here, um, I can actually see here, I can download this PDF um, and I can have a look at that PDF. It'll show the signature, the um, uh, you know, all that sort of stuff. So that is um, all included in there. So that's what the recipient will see. And then coming back into the CRM system, what I can do is under that contact, I can go down and what I will see if I refresh the screen. Okay, is that I'll see some emails and some documents, etc., um, from um, this here um, with that um, signed document in place. Okay, so that's how you can generate a document in the CRM system, send it to a person or persons, and get them to sign using Zoho CRM and Zoho Sign. If you've got any further questions, please drop us a line, support at um, a1crm.co.nz. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.